Neurons have a cell body or soma, several dendrites, and an axon. While dendrites are usually less than a millimeter, an axon can extend for more than three feet. It ends at a terminal, which is always very near another neuron. What happens at the neuron is this. An electrical impulse generated in the soma then travels down to the axon terminal. After a short delay, a new electrical impulse is formed within the neuron next door. How is this impulse formed? Where did it come from? What happens during the delay between the arrival of one impulse at the axon terminal and the formation of another impulse at the neighboring cell body? We can answer these questions and understand how neurons communicate by looking more closely at the connection between two neurons, which is called the synapse. Actually, the synapse includes the space between two neurons, the axon terminal of the neuron that sends a signal, and the membrane of the cell that receives it, either the dendrites or soma. It is here, at the synapse, where the communication of the nervous system really happens. Synapses convert the electrical signals within cells to chemical signals that carry messages between them. If we look inside the terminal, there are small sacs or vesicles that contain chemicals called neurotransmitters. For this example, we'll focus on acetylcholine, one of the major neurotransmitters in the brain. When an electrical impulse arrives at the terminal, it signals the vesicles to move toward the terminal's membrane. When the vesicles reach the terminal membrane, they actually fuse to it. Once the membranes of the vesicle and the terminal are fused, the vesicles release acetylcholine out into the synaptic space. This process is called exocytosis. If you look at the terminal from below, you can see the acetylcholine being released from the vesicles into the space underneath the terminal. However, the release of neurotransmitters such as acetylcholine is only half the story. Once a neurotransmitter is released, it needs to do something. Let's view this sequence of events once more. An electrical impulse moves down the axon toward the terminal. It signals the vesicles to release acetylcholine into the synaptic space. Now, once the acetylcholine is released from the nerve terminal, it binds to special proteins in the receiving cell called receptors. This binding of acetylcholine to its receptors causes a channel to open and sodium ions to move into the receiving cell. As these positive charges enter the cell, an electrical current flows across the membrane. When the neurotransmitter comes off the receptor, the channels close and the current is turned off. So nerves talk to each other using this combination of electrical and chemical signals. Watch the entire process. Electrical impulses cause acetylcholine to be released into the synaptic space. This chemical then binds to receptors on the membrane of the receiving cell. The binding opens ion channels. Sodium ions enter the receiving cells, generating a current that triggers a new electrical impulse, and the process starts all over again. This happens all the time, all over the brain, among billions of neurons.